Thank you, Kaylee. Kaylee and Lee Emery to strap on the boots and score some goals tonight. I would love to see it, Mike. <laughs> I'm all right up here. <laughs> Washington gets the first touch. Here we go on this Friday night. 10th place, Angel City. We move into a tie at the playoff line with a win. Washington trying to stay in the shield race and continue to hold the number two spot at the NWSL table. Angel City in the black tonight. It's the highlighter kits for Washington. Mater. Racing upfield, Kuwasi. Kuwasi into the penalty area, rolls it across Santos above the bar. The first real chance of this game comes about six and a half minutes in. It slips into Fuller and out wide now for Thompson. Alyssa Thompson rips it across. Kingsbury got a handle on it, pops up high. Contemplative ball now across. Smash back down towards Spencer. And Emsley chasing it down for Angel City. Five goals in the last five games. Emsley, they do like Bright as an aerial threat tonight as well. Has floated in her direction. Brown, all oh, taken away by Spencer. Sends it along, bobbled, and Kingsbury able to grapple with it now. Santos. Steered away from Nick Young by Bright. Back outside. Brown, a ton of space. Brown hanging for the back post, and the header's above the bar. Emsley. Emsley denied by Kingsbury. Great save from Kingsbury. It was interesting because it looked like Katie Zellum and Claire Emsley were thinking, do you want it? Do I want it? Who's going to take it? It was a fantastic strike in the end. To get it up and over the wall from that distance is not an easy thing to do. It's a fantastic save from Albury Kingsbury. Every week. Well, that's why I can't ever decide. Should I look at it more often or less often? Where because are you right now it with it? like I look at it a lot. Yeah. I look at it a lot. Turnover here to Hatch. Hatch walks it forward. Hatch scores. <laughs> Ashley Hatch rises to the occasion for the spirit. And if you look at the table now, it's just a four-point gap between Washington and Orlando for the Shield every week. Well, that's why I can't ever decide. Should I look at it more often or less often? Where because are you right now it with it? like I look at it a lot. Yeah. I look at it a lot. Turnover here to Hatch. Hatch walks it forward. Hatch scores! <laughs> Ashley Hatch rises to the occasion for the spirit. And if you look at the table now, it's just a four-point gap between Washington and Orlando for the Shield. At BMO Stadium. Hopefully they can uncork a little more smoke, they would hope, on this set piece. Emsley. Header skips to the back side. That's wide. Oh, what a chance that was. And that gets the crowd excited right out of the break. It was Reed. Yeah, Reed almost made up for her mistake there for the Ashley Hatch goal. It was really good set piece. Really good little flick on from Kennedy Fuller. We can see here. I'd expect that to be put in the back of the net, you know, Mike. If I'm being hypercritical, I thought it was a fantastic ball in from Claire Emsley. Kennedy Fuller does a really good job. To be fair to Reed, maybe she wasn't anticipating it falling to her, but she was in a really good position. Thompson. Vignola. Kingsbury went up for it and did just enough to steer that out of the upper corner. What a strike from Vignola. Did about two minutes ago, and Thompson creates. Thompson cuts the cross, packed in! Just how you drew it up, Messiah Bright! Her first Angel City regular season goal, we're level. What did we say, Mike? What did we say? Moments ago, I said Alyssa Thompson needs to get on the ball because magic can happen. Well, here's some trouble. Kawasi is Angel City about to learn a tough lesson. Cutting ball to the trailer. Hanicic. Enormous save to steer that outside the face. And Courtney Brown arriving late to the party. I'll tell you what, Mike, this is an incredible save because it took a massive deflection off of Sarah Gordon, 
And Didi Haracic does such a good job to get down here. You can see the deflection, and it moves so quickly. In extra time. And I don't think, Mike, that Angel City have capitalised on those players being missing. You know, Becky Tweed touched upon the fact that on Monday night, Sophia Smith wasn't playing, so nothing changed. They did adjust their game plan, but I think it does help when certain players are not on the field of play that can impact. Vignola serving back post. Who knew Emsley could jump like that? A rocket strapped to her back. Carl. Morris. Morris knocked down and right back up the middle. Vignola able to get it away. How did she put that in a dangerous spot? Vignola very attentive. Vignola's been brilliant tonight in this game. You can see what Didi Haricic was saying there, because I'd expect her to hold on to this a little bit more, but it looked like the ball moved. You can see she was kind of insinuating that it did move when it picked up speed. Great turn. From what, fantastic strike from Morris. Kuwasi. And Morris threads. Morris! And the number two team grabs that final second goal. They lead in Los Angeles, two goals to one. Pulled in by LaRue. 90 seconds left. Here's Emsley on the run. Mateo under pressure again. Emsley cutting in front, seeking press. That's it. It is full time. The Washington Spirit keep the shield race tight. They hang on to second shortly for another weekend. And Angel City faces the Gallows. Only four games remaining. And they remain three points beneath the line in 10th. Yeah, fair play to the Washington Spirit. I thought they had a really good game. Professional performance away from home here. Not an easy place to come. And they came through it. Professional performance, tactically very good. But again, Angel City, not good enough for me, Mike.